Uh, hello, everybody. Eric here doing something different just for the hell of it. I decided to do this live. Why not? Let's see how it goes. Uh, what I'm doing here is I want to do an introductory video to the next uh, reading project that I'm doing. It's not really a read along, although you can. Uh, regular viewers will know that I did uh, a series where I read through uh, most of the books in F. Paul Wilson's um, uh, Secret History of the World. Uh, I didn't include some books that I don't have. There's a few that I don't have, and there were some that I got after I'd passed that point in the timeline. So um, I didn't include everything, but it was it was most of the books in, in F. Paul Wilson's Secret History of the World, read through them in chronolo chronological order by story, posted a video about each one, talked about how they connected and everything, uh, reviewed them. And so I was I wanted to do another thing like that. And uh, one of my regular viewers and commenters, Michael Booker, suggested this, the paperbacks from hell that have been put out by Valancourt Books. And uh, there were a few other things I thought about doing, but a couple paperbacks from hell just came in. And so I said, what the hell, let's do this. So what I'm going to do in this video is basically just go over, I believe there's 21 books here. And I think looking at this screen, is everything going to be backwards? I don't know. Normally when I record my videos, um, they, uh, you know, I record them, put them up later, and everything's facing the right way. But it looks like everything's backwards here. We'll see what happens. Hello, William. Uh, I have to remember to keep an eye on the chat there because I've never done this before. But anyway... Uh, so the idea is I'm going to read through all of the paperbacks from hell that have put, been put out from Valancourt books, and I will do at least one a month. So this will take some time because I have tons of things to read that I want to read, want to review. Uh, but I'll, So I'll do at least one a month, maybe two, maybe more. depends on my mood, but at least one. Uh, and these are the books, and I'm going to put a list a written list, in. I'll add it to the description below so it's there. But let's just take a look at what we've got. Hopefully I won't knock anything over here. So you have all these books just stacked here. Uh, these are in the order that they were released from Valancourt. And the first one is The Nest by Gregory A. Douglas. I actually read this when it this edition first came out. I didn't read it when the original edition came out. Um but I will reread it for this list. It's been a while. I don't remember all the details. So that's the first one we're going to do is The Nest. Killer Cockroaches. <laughs> Thank you, William. Uh, if I were a more organized person, I could take more videos showing my bookshelves and things. But I only have a very small space and a lot of things are just stacked and in carts. And uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> not the easiest way to show off the books. Next book we have is When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Engstrom. And uh, for the most part, I have not read any of these other books. There are a couple uh, that'll be towards the end of the list here. Uh, so I can't tell you anything uh, about any of these books, really. I don't know anything about it, but that's the next one. When Darkness Loves Us. Looks like there might be a killer doll. We'll see. And then we have The Reaping by Bernard Taylor. And again, I don't really know anything about this. Uh, it does have, I think every single one of these has an introduction, a new introduction. Uh, Will Erickson does this one, Grady Hendrix. Uh, Will Erickson does The Nest. Grady Hendrix does Elizabeth Engstrom, and then Will Erickson again for The Reaping. I'm trying to keep these things in order as I set them aside. Uh, so The Reaping by Bernard Taylor. 
yeah um the the shelf <laughs> shelf tour vids that i did were basically the few shelves that aren't blocked by other things now um from where i'm sitting there's a shelf over in that direction that way uh that's blocked by some things and then there's a couple of shelves over in this direction that have just piles of books in front of them um and there's just actually a shelf right in front of me that has book carts and then piles of books in front of it uh, because, yeah, I just do not have room for all of my books. If I had more space and got things organized and had things on shelves instead of in piles, I would love to do more bookshelf videos. All right. Then we have, let's see, we're on to book four, The Tribe by Barry Wood. And I believe this has a golem in it. I'm not 100% sure. It does have to do with um, Jewish people. And uh, let's see, introduc Introduction by Grady Hendrix. I actually found another book by Barry Wood at Half Price Bookstore uh, that I picked up based on the fact that uh, he did this one. So his name was familiar to me. And it looked like a cool paperbacks from hell kind of book. So I grabbed that. Book number five, The Spirit by Thomas Page. Introduction by Grady Hendrix. Looks like some sort of isolation horror. Maybe that could be Wendigo horror. I love a good Wendigo story. I don't know. I don't know anything about any of these. Not really. Except I love these covers. Book six, Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. Introduction by Grady Hendrix. Um, let's see. I think this is a novel. I feel like one of these might be a short story collection. I could be wrong about that. But this one says some Angelina is a killer. Don't know. Who knows? Ooh, I love I love these covers. I love it when they can get the original covers from when these books originally came out. I think there's a few that maybe they haven't been able to. But, uh, man, one of the great things about the paperbacks from hell era is the, is the covers. Nightblood by T. Chris Martindale. Introduction by Grady Hendrix. I mean, just look at that cover. It's fantastic. This is a vampire novel. I can tell because it says right there, um, first ever reprint, action-packed vampire romp. So definitely looking forward to digging into all of these. Let's see. I've lost count already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is book eight. Is this the one? Yes, this. Let's double check. Yes, this is a short story collection, A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. Uh, so, short stories. What do we have? Introduction by Will Erickson. Um, I know that some of these, there's one or two of these that you can't get in the UK. I don't know. There's, there's weird publishing rights issues. When you go and... Uh, when you're a publisher and you're doing reprints of old stuff like this, you can run into rights issues. And I believe there's one or two of these books that they can't publish in certain countries for whatever weird reasons. I don't know. And that's another reason why, you know, they might not necessarily have the original artwork on the cover because they, either can't find the rights holder or the rights holder doesn't want to give them the rights to use it. But um, I'm glad that I'm very glad that Valancourt is doing this. And next up a classic let's go play at the Adams, a novel of lingering horror by Mendel W. Johnson introduction by Grady Hendrix. And I think this is a, 
well, tonight the kids are taking care of the babysitter. So it's it's going to be that kind of story. There's a little picture on the back. All right, I've stopped counting. Oh, very excited about this because it falls right into my favorite subgenre of horror. We have The Pack by David Fisher, introduction by Will Erickson. Uh, I love, regular viewers will know, but I love killer animal stories, whether they're just regular animals that have gone crazy or mutated versions of animals. I love a good killer animal story, so we'll see how The Pack by David Fisher plays out. And then I remember this cover back in the day. I've never, I don't believe I've ever read this. Such a fantastic cover. Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman. Introduction by Will Erickson. This is one of the one of the heftier ones. Not huge, but a little bit uh, a little bit bigger than than the rest. Crazy rock and roll horror. You gotta love it. Starting another stack over there. This one is this. Let me check. No. I, I thought this might be another short story collection. Familiar Spirit, Lisa Tuttle. Again, look at that cover. I just love those. Introduction by Will Erickson. Big old house. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's moving into a haunted house or something. We'll see. Fantastic covers. Next up, The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. Introduction by Grady Hendrix. And uh, no clue what this is about, except someone that talks really fast and takes your bids, I suppose. I, I don't know. Another reason I'm doing this whole project so that I can read these, but it gives me a gives me a push to read these books. Ah, Gwen in Green by Hugh Zachary, introduction by Will Erickson. Um, uh oh, looks like someone's moving. I see the words insurance settlement, real estate man. So, who knows who is Gwen in Green? trying to remember if that's the other author i bought another book by at half price books there was there was another one another looked like a paperback from hell kind of thing it was another author that's in this pile somewhere can't remember which one it was so let's move on instead uh this one seems really really interesting to me i mean they all do but this is progeny of the adder by Leslie H. Witten, introduction by Will Erickson. It says, a spellbinding blend of sex, intrigue, and mystery. Um, so if that doesn't uh, pique your interest, I don't know what will. Looks like uh, the main character is a private detective. Throat's brutally slashed. Is it a vampire? I don't know. But... Uh, Looks like that's... Yeah, I see a fang on there. So, another vampire story. All right. Back into my favorite subgenre. Hellhound. This is by Ken Greenhall. Introduction by Grady Hendrix. Now that I think about it, it might be Ken Greenhall that I bought another book from. Ah, uh, Don't get old and lose your memory like I am. Um... This is, this is a little thin one. And this might be one that's told or partially told from the dog's perspective. I don't, I don't know. So I will find out and I'll let you know when I make my video about it. <laughs> and we're going to keep on going with that great, great killer animal stuff. Killer by Peter Tonkin. It looked almost like part of his name was covered up by the paperbacks from hell logo there. Um, 
Introduction by Grady Hendrix. From out of the deep came freezing terror. Adventure, romance, bloody action, the excitement and violent drama of Jaws. Well, we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, I recently read Orca, the novelization of the movie, and quite enjoyed that. We'll see if uh, Killer stands up to the Jaws legacy. Now, the next two books are actually by the same author, <laughs> came out at the same time, and I know I've read at least one of these. I can't remember if I've read both, but I know I've read one. And so the first one is Rapture by Thomas Tessier and uh, Introduction by Grady Hendrix. I think I read this one, but it might be the other one. Or it might be both. Uh, I think my, these might have come out from Leisure or maybe Thomas Tessier had some Leisure books. And so I started picking up his other stuff. Back in the day, man, I picked up pretty much everything that Leisure was putting out in uh, in horror. Almost everything. A couple authors I didn't care for, so I would skip their stuff. But uh, this is a um, new edition, modern classic from 1987. But uh, Rapture. And then also from Thomas Tessier. Finishing Touches. I, I feel like Rapture is the one I read. This is the one I'm not sure about because the reading the back cover does not sound that familiar to me. Uh, this one has an introduction by Will Erickson. So there you go. Some more craziness. That lady's got a crazy tongue. And then the last two that I have. Now, I'm assuming that uh, as I'm reading through these, especially if I only do one a month, more will come out. And so they will be added to the list uh, as they come out. <laughs> um, uh, I like to think I'll keep up, though. It won't be a never-ending reading list as far as this video series goes. But then as the books, as new ones come out, if I've finished what's out at the time, as new ones come out, I will add to the series. This one, possibly my favorite cover out of all of these. This is the most recent one I got, even though technically it's listed as number, I believe this is number 20, but it came a week later, a week after number 21. Anyway, this is The Abyss by Jerry Cunningham, introduction by Grady Hendrix. Look at that amazing, amazing cover. And this is um, Deepest Coal Mine Ever Created releases some stuff from the depths. Love that cover. Can't wait, but it's going to be a while before I get to it. And then finally, the last one to come out, uh, even though I got it before I got the Abyss on their website, it's listed as the last one. This is, oh, I didn't even realize this. The Legacy by Jerry Cunningham. <laughs> Very cool cover. I have no I, I don't know if this is related to, there's a movie called The Legacy um, that we make jokes about because, well, something happens in the movie and when those circumstances are similar in our real lives, we reference the movie. I don't want to say what it is in case it actually comes up in the book. Um, but yeah, so this is the last one. This is the most recent one as of this recording. The most recent of the Valancourt paperbacks from hell books that are part of this project. So um, I will be posting the videos on either a Monday or a Friday. That's when I post my book reviews. Uh, generally, it is the low budget review show. But every once in a while, when I ha when I've read one of these, I'll sneak it into there. So I already have, I think, four weeks worth of reviews, book reviews recorded. Uh, because I've read quite a few novellas 
recently. Uh, I haven't been working. I got laid off from work, so I've had a lot of time to read. Um, so even if I did, if I jumped right on the nest, which I'm not going to, even if I did, it would be four and a half weeks before the, the video came out. But what are you going to do? Um, that's it. I don't know what else to say. As I said, I just happened. I decided to pull these off the shelf, organize them. I knew I was going to do this and just decided, what the hell? Let's do it live. Uh, just to see if I could. Maybe I'll do this again someday and, and let people know ahead of time that it's coming up. But this really was absolutely spur of the moment. Um, so those are the Valancourt books, paperbacks from hell. Again, I will have an actual list of them in the description. I'll write them all down for you. Uh, if you want to read along, that's fine. And um, I will... This will be different than my F. Paul Wilson Secret History of the World thing because that was one giant connected story. Some things connected more than others. These are all just completely separate books. So they'll generally, be, it'll just be, I'll be reviewing them. They'll be under a different um, category in my YouTube library, I guess. Um because, yeah, there's no need to compare and contrast and, and do all of that and talk about how they fit together because they don't fit together. There you go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I assume there's comments for this sort of thing. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. Please like, share, and subscribe, all the usual YouTube stuff. Hopefully this all comes out well. I have no idea. Have not done a live video before. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube, all the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith5757. And if you're on Blue Sky, I am at El Smith. That's all I have for you for this first live video uh peace to you as well william thank you very much everybody have a good day and until next time read more books